Hi everyone, this is Ogaya Azerbaijan and today we have Urs or Andre. Yes. Hola mi baby. Hola mi baby, <laughs> how are you? I'm doing great, what about you? Um, I, I'm feeling, I feel amazing. I just uh, got up on, from the stage and we had the second rehearsal and every, everything is going smooth, perfect. For I mean, it's not like perfect because nothing is can be perfect, but it's like so close to uh, the way I imagined all all the moment and everything that's happened that was in my mind, you know, mm -hmm. and I really like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Andre, before we are starting the interview, can you introduce yourself? Who is Urs actually? Um, I'm an enthusiast. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's a nice guy who likes what he does. He, I'm so happy about uh, I know uh, what I'm doing, and I'm in a nice state of mind, and yeah. He's a nice guy, mm -hmm. doing music, a great dancer, great lover, uh, <laughs> loving life. I l love to laugh and everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I'm a nice guy to <laughs> spend time with. <laughs> yes, of yeah, it's so <laughs> hard. It's so hard to talk about me as, as like a third person or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> and before uh, being uh, an artist, you were also a dancer yeah. and a dancer for a great artists as well, like uh, such as Inna. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I wonder, like, which is uh, difficult for you to dance or to sing? Uh, neither. I love to do them both. Uh, and it, they blend so nice together now. Um, it helped me a lot to... Uh, now I realize that being a dancer helped me a lot for my breathing and everything. And I can feel the stage and everything that's happening there and I have to give my energy there. But still as a singer I improved so much in the last years, you know, because I, I, I started after my 20s, you know, singing. I, I mean, I, I was singing since I was like super young, but taking like uh, seriously and taking singing lessons and everything I started after 20 and uh, yeah I now I see myself and I, I see uh, when I hear the the tape and everything I realize that I improved so so much and it's nobody's like uh, starting uh, his or her career perfectly you know mm -hmm. and it's so nice to see that I'm learning and that I'm perfectioning mm -hmm. is that mm -hmm. a word yeah my craft and everything okay you were also in a boys band called uh, shot if yes. I'm not mistaken yes. so um, do you prefer to be in a band or solo career is better uh, I would still be in a band if I would prefer to be in a boy band. It was uh, such a nice experience, but at, for that time of my life and everything, now I really like to, how to say, to be the center of my pro mm -hmm. own project and to think, uh, to think for myself, you know, because it's nice to be, uh, sometimes it's nice to be a bit selfish, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to be careful with your energy and everything. It's the, it's the, it's the way... I is what I learned in mm -hmm. this life and mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And why Eurovision? About Eurovision? Yeah. Why? Why? Why to be in uh, Eurovision? Why Eurovision? Yes. Because I was a fan of Eurovision since I was like super young. Uh, I used to watch it with my mother, and um, um, it's like a huge platform when uh, you can, when everybody can listen to your music and to for for this for how to say for somebody who's like starting his career is a perfect opportunity you know and uh, this is what i what i thought when i joined the, the eurovision mm -hmm. but now i realize that that it has so many advantages i mean i met so many people that uh, start that they're inspiring me already you know and super nice friends and uh, this stage you know it's like uh, challenging you as an artist and everything to grow and to um, uh, how say to over overcome overcome yeah, yeah, yeah. you know your fears and everything it's like super nice yeah mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. amazing oh so you're from azerbaijan yes yes so nice i've been there in baku i love nice. baku nice. i've been in, with ina you know oh. ina? Yes, of course. Yeah, I've been uh, with her. Nice. It was super nice. Nice. Sorry. For and, uh, <laughs> no worries. Just and since you said that uh, you are a fan of Eurovision, yeah. uh, which song actually is your favorite? I've got like all-time favorite. I've got so many. Oh my God! Now I now I usually say um, Ruslana's song, but now I realize that I I have this song that ca that is coming in my mind. Uh, Dancing. Ukraine. I love it. Verkashen, Ukraine. Yeah. Also, or also, I want to see Russia. I want to see. Oh my God, that was so crazy. But there are so many songs. I loved Euphoria. 
I mean, yeah, I loved a, a toy from uh, from Netta, uh, the gra uh, song, the songs from Grace. Oh my God, uh, those from Elena, Pap Elena Paparizzo, no? Yes. Eli yeah, and uh, Italy as well. I'm a fan of Mahmoud and Maneskin. Uh, the song from Spain. I mean, there's 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 so many songs that mm -hmm. that yeah, mm -hmm. Diva International, so or Dana International. Yes, Dana International. Dana International. Yeah. Okay. Da, da, da. Yeah. Then let's move actually to your song. Uh, what message you want to convey to your listeners with your song? I want to. Uh, I want. Uh, no. So when they hear this song, I, I know that uh, you're not like. F for my song, you're not first listening the lyrics or something. Mm -hmm. But my lyrics are like super meaningful. As I, the, for me, it's, it's like a. Uh, how to say an anthem of freedom and I is like a conversation with myself to say my 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 true always the true version you know of myself but I, I really want people to have fun on my song and to forget about their problems you know to take a break and mm -hmm. even it's like three three minutes break or to take a break for half a year mm -hmm. just to go and chill a bit mm -hmm. because we need a break you know from everything that's happening now nowadays the speed that everything uh, is happening with yeah it's like super crazy and just take a break and mm -hmm. chill mm -hmm. a cuba libre in the hand in your hand on a beach <laughs> having fun yeah this is what i want to i want to say to them nice and we also saw your uh, second rehearsal today mm -hmm. and you are so confident so what is the magic uh, the mag the magic is the experience. It's not the and um, the work, you know. Because you, I, I wouldn't be so confident if I wouldn't work, uh, wouldn't, uh, yeah, work so much on my craft and everything. And I really want to get into the finals, you know, and to be like in the top and everything. And this is what makes me. I'm a, I'm a. What's the word? Um, when you want to get things, I'm an achiever, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm an I'm achiever, and but still, I I I'm super uh, honest about what I'm doing and super pure on that stage, you know. Aphrodite, <laughs> I just told you about <laughs> yes, the song. Yes. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, I'm super fierce on that stage, and I just realized that that's my place, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. and nobody's gonna take it mm -hmm. from me. And Andre, if you had a chance to choose one singer to sing duo from this year. Who who would it be? <laughs> we already we are already planning something. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Ronella, Ronella, more than sure. Nice, yeah. nice. And you have a lot of singles. Are you planning to uh, release any albums? Uh, I just released a small album. You okay. should listen to it. It's super nice. Uh, it's called Mandala, and it has like six songs. Uh, Yamame is one of them, and it's, it's I'm f I love that uh, album, you know. That is like an EP, a small album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, definitely go and listen to my songs because they're like super nice. I definitely will. <laughs> and do you have any message for your Azerbaijani fans? Uh, I cannot wait to meet you. And um, yeah, I oh my god, I really want to go back to Baku. It was super nice. Uh, and the food and everything is yeah and if you if you like my song just vote for me and uh, I really appreciate your support and everything and I, I really want to come to maybe I will come with the concert or something because I'm just starting and soon I'll see you in my concert <laughs> great great so and much. as a last thing can I ask you to sing a little bit of your song of course uh, do you want me the verse or uh, yeah, I'll yeah, sing the course. verse I knew that I was different than the others they never liked you Try to keep my head above the water But you make it so hard to <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You so much And hola mi bebe be. Hey! Hola <laughs> mi bebe be, be. Hey! Yamame, yamame Yamame, yamame This is the part that everybody is expecting So I couldn't end the interview without singing it Thank you so much Thank for you very much, Andre This is it Yamame, yamame Bye-bye <laughs>